Well, thank you for being here. This really is a rehearsal, but it's our last rehearsal together. This piece that I wanna share, it's part of a larger uh, project initiative around that started around black wealth. And one of those kinds of black wealth that's been important to me is mentorship. And that funneled down to thinking about a particular mentor of mine, Dr. William R. Jones. He was a black liberation scholar, a theologian, a philosopher, and he really was um, preoccupied with equity and also with creative problem solving and repair. You know, this is the world that we've got. How do we make it better? He used to always say, fuss, cuss, and discuss. In other words, don't take my word for it, but he would say, well, give me an example. And so in this piece, we're trying to do a bit of fuss, cussing, and discussing, and also missing him. I'm thinking about what does it mean to have a mentor, and what does it mean to be the person left? So this thing has been uh, growing and changing, and it's not done yet. But I really honor where it is. Are you all ready to take it in? Yes. Okay, here we go. Camus responds to political murder. Is a fastidious assassin. Sartre's response to Blizzard. Sartre's response is. Dirty hand. Dirty hand. What Sartre argues is that that approach doesn't change the institutional structure of oppression or systematic murder. In fact, if you carry that activity to the body, the end result would be the elimination of the revolution itself. His argument is more in line with it's permissible to use at least the same amount of force against the oppressor as the oppressor uses to keep people oppressed. Now that, to me, puts it in a somewhat different kind of structure than what Camus is Camus, to me, comes a little closer to Martin. If I were to make a distinction, if I were to make a comparison in terms of, for instance, black revolutionaries, uh, Camus, to me, comes closer to Martin Luther King. And Sartre comes closer to Malcolm X. So you mean what Malcolm X is black But if you understand Violence, I don't think you can define violence except contextually. I don't think we can define violence. What, what do we mean by violence? Violence is first an ideological concept. I, I, gotta, I have to say this. Violence a priori. And I think that was the primary problem key. 